Yo, YouTube, this is Jordan Steele 88 coming at you with another video. I'm going to talk about Calvin Austin III and what he can bring to the offense in 2023. So let's get into it. Calvin Austin III was picked in the fourth round of last year's draft. In training camp, he was doing pretty well until he got hurt. And they put him on injured reserve during preseason. In preseason, he didn't do anything because he was hurt. And they decided to put him on injured reserve. He was supposed to come back middle of the season during the 21-day window, but he had a setback. And after 21 days were up, they decided to put him on injured reserve. His speed could have been used in 2022. Now, fast forward to 2023. This has me anxious, by the way, of him, barring any injuries. His presence is going to open up for the offense. His speed is going to take the top off of coverages. If you take away Calvin Austin III, Guys like Pat Firemuth, Deontay Johnson, or George Pickens are going to wreck the game. Especially George Pickens, because he'd be one-on-one -on, -one on coverage. If the coverage is towards Calvin Austin III. Now, Matt Canada's system, I know how we feel about Matt Canada. With his speed. They're going to use him on jet sweeps more than anything because of his speed. When they put him on jet sweeps, if he's on an open field, it's almost like he's getting a touchdown or a first down. This guy, Calvin Austin III, is a game changer. And kind of reminds me of Mike Wallace a little bit. Because Mike Wallace was a defect receiver with his speed. Calvin Austin III, like I said before, can wreck any defense when he's in there. His presence is going to make things easy for Kenny Pickett to find open guys like Najee. Pickens, Firemuth, Johnson, or even Jay Warren. Now, he could be on a, one of special teams, too. They're probably going to put him on punt returns. He might have to take Steve Sims out of punt returning. Because I saw plenty of tape of Calvin Austin III during his time in Memphis. And this guy is fast. His speed is game changing. So what can Calvin Austin III bring to the offense in 2023? Game changes speed. They can take the top off of coverages. And open things up for Najee, Johnson, Pat Fryer move, and pick, especially if it's one-on-one. -on -one. So, barring any injuries, off is going to be lit in 2023. Because this presence for opposing defenses it's going to be hard to game plan for the opponent opposing defense. And everybody's comparing him to Tyreek Hill. I mean, it's like Tyreek Hill when we played with Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City. His speed was opening things up with Travis Kelsey and others in Kansas City. And now he's in Miami doing the same thing. I'm pretty sure Calvin Austin third. Could do the same thing for the Steelers 
in the offense. So let me know in the comment section what you think about Calvin Hunter III in 2023, barring any injuries. So that's all for this video. This is Jordan Steele 88 coming at you with another video. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content. The link is going to be in the description. Share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go.